What's the difference between decomposer and scavenger? To understand about this more, we need to know more about the decomposition process and how it occurs. Decomposition process happens to all dead organisms. First, when animals and plants die, there are other animals called scavengers. Scavengers eat these dead organisms and break them down into smaller pieces. Scavengers, they are the organisms that feed on the remains of dead animals and plants, like vultures, hyenas, crabs, cockroach, and houseflies. Decomposers complete the process of decomposition by breaking them into smaller pieces of remains of dead plants and animals into nutrients that can be returned to the ecosystem so plants can use these nutrients to make their own food. And the examples of the decomposers are snails, slugs, earthworms, fungi, bacteria. And when the nutrients consumed by plants, the cycle continues from producers, plants, to consumers, then to decomposers, again, then back to the producers one more time. So, as you can see, when organisms die, decomposers undergo the decomposition process to release nutrients back into the environment so they can be used one more time. Example, remains of animals and plants are decomposed and become part of the soil which is used by the plants to make their own food. So we can say that the decomposition process is considered as nature's recycling factory. Decomposition process takes a place on the land and also under the water. Hope that you all enjoyed the video and now you know the difference between scavengers and decomposers. Please make sure that you subscribe and you like the video and share it with your friend.